Speak Student. Reality TV Part 7, The Evolution of Reality TV. Has reality TV evolved much since its beginning? Reality TV has been around a while. Uh, Candid Camera in the 40s, game shows like uh, Truth and Consequences and Beat mm -hmm. the Clock um, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, etc. One show that I love to talk about is the show, uh, I think it started in the late 40s, called Queen for a Day. And this is a great example of how reality TV has really not changed that much. This was a show where women, and only women, uh, would come on and there would be, you know, a, a few women telling their stories and they were always these terrible sob stories. So it would be like... Because my husband has had two heart attacks and he's not supposed to lift. See, this is not your season, Mrs. Byrne. It hasn't been for a while. Johnny, no. Mrs. Rogers, you have a family of children? Uh, five. Five? One husband. What's Mr. Rogers do? Well, he isn't employed now. Well, and, and you've got shattered nerves, you're wrinkling your nice little handkerchief here. And they would just tell these stories. It was so demeaning and so depressing. Trailer, your applause for candidate number one. <laughs> the time away. Number two. <laughs> Toledo. Number three. And then at the end of the show, one woman would be crowned queen for a day. She'd get a robe and, you know, a little crown, and they'd give her the refrigerator. Um, and then they'd also give her, like, a vacation or something to kind of to treat her. But it, it's this exact same thing that happens now, um, except that, you know, these people are demeaning themselves as opposed to producers demeaning them. These are the people who go on these competitive reality shows and tell their sob stories as if their, you know, tragic history has anything to do with their cooking abilities. Mm. Um, and yes, I understand the like, you know, let's say my mother passed away and she was the chef of the family and it really inspired me. Done. But these are sob stories, you know, and you see it a lot in like the American Idol kind of kind of sure. shows that just travel through the entire show. And that's what gets people to vote for you if, the, you know, if it's an audience participation show, is telling these sob stories. So this is the kind of thing where when reality TV started, these folks knew that, you know, you, you, you wanted this sob story. And that's been there from the beginning. And that's still there now. Will the Hunger Games be the future of reality TV? If you talk to, like, speculative fiction writers, they would say exactly that. I mean, we've all read the Hunger Games. Yeah. You're going to have children killing children on, on TV. If we keep going at the exact rate we are going, yes, that is going to happen. Unless we do somehow come into some dystopian future after the world ends, yeah. um, we, I don't think we're going to get to that level. Um, th it will have to plateau at some point. I think that's when reality TV dies. And either we go back to scripted television or we come up with something new that we wouldn't have thought of. If in the 1940s you presented the idea of The Bachelor to someone, they'd be like, ha. So there might be some idea like that where you'd present it to us now and we'd be like, that's not a thing. But, you know, 50 years from now, it might be. But yeah, I think the internet is where most of that's going to live, yeah. not primetime TV that make, that <laughs> for sure. Um, wh where are the other areas, you know, each season? We've seen bold new steps in different areas. So my son and I watch Naked and Afraid, and it is so not sexual. It is it is gross. There are people having to eat, you know, worms and snakes to stay alive. It's really cool to look at the the naked part has nothing to do with the show, it, and um, yet it's a great marketing hook for people to to come oh, and, yeah. and watch, I guess, and leave it to Discovery. Um, but how does how does that work then in the next generation? Are we going to have Naked Shark Week where people jump in with hungry great whites without their clothes on and we see them eaten and yep. once a year someone <laughs> dies on camera? And I mean, absolutely. What, what's happening with reality TV is that we're starting out with these base shows and there's the real world and then there's Survivor. Combine them and you get Temptation Island. That's how reality TV works, is you have these shows that don't seem that crazy on their own, and then some producer is like, but what if we did both of them? It's kind of like how in Silicon Valley you have, you know, Twitter meets Yelp for old men, and here you have it's Survivor meets the real world for 18-year-old girls. Like, that's what happens is these producers take different reality shows, combine them, so like you said, like, 
Shark Week dating, yes. I honestly don't <laughs> think that that's that far out of the question. I don't think we're going to get that much more nudity and that much more violence, et cetera, but we're going to get weirder and weirder combinations yeah, of yeah. stuff for sure. No, it's a great game show uh, we also watch <laughs> called Wipeout. <laughs> uh, where the people like run through syrup and have like it's it just hideous yeah. for like three hundred dollars like that's yeah. what the winner wins. Yeah. Meantime they have broken bones and whatever. Yeah, that's that like they're... American Gladiators meets Nickelodeon or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There are so many combinations. So if you think of something like The Apprentice, right? Uh, this is a social experiment, yeah. Yeah. absolutely, um, but it's also a game show. Uh, it's also a competition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you get shows like this where you're combining so many different elements of so many different genres of reality shows that you create a new genre. And like, I don't know what I'd call The Apprentice. I, we have to come up with a totally new genre for it, right? Yeah. And that's again how reality has, reality TV from the beginning has grown, is that it starts with a game show and then you throw in a uh, social experiment, put them together, you have a new genre. Then take that genre, add it to another one, you have a new one. And it kind of snowballs like that. Has the overall theme of reality TV changed? What do we expect the future of reality TV to uh, be? You know, like children killing children. Oh, just awesome.